Hey, 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 everyone. Dale Moreau here once again, bringing you tips and tricks for making network marketing work for you. And today we're going to talk about how to manipulate the mind of our prospects from saying no to our products and opportunity and services to saying yes. Now, how many of you ever wanted to know how to actually reach into the mind of the prospect and grab hold of him and make him say yes to everything that we talk about instead of no? Now, if you want to know the secret for how to convert leads into clients and customers, you need to learn about how to manipulate the mind. And when I speak of the manipulating the mind, I am talking exactly like that. And we manipulate the mind of others every day. Now, there's a philosophy going around with network marketing, which says that you are to purposely go out and prospect people to get 100 no's. Well, I'm not sure that that's such a great philosophy. Now, I understand what they're talking about. They're talking about going out there and experiencing no's because you will get a lot of no's. I understand that. But I say that we can reduce those no's to yeses just by having the skills with trained words for converting those no's to yeses. Now, don't get me wrong. We will experience lots of no's. That's part of the experience of doing network marketing. And we can reduce those no's to yeses with just a little bit of knowledge about how to manipulate the mind. So let's learn something about sales psychology techniques and how to manipulate the mind. Now we have two parts of our brain. There is the conscious and the subconscious mind. And the conscious mind is the size of a pea. That is where you get the name pea brain. It does all our thinking for us, and it's hard to believe with the, it being the size of a pea. And whenever a person comes our way and we approach them as a prospect, the conscious mind from being influenced by our training or untraining with network marketing will speak to them in a way that's either trained or untrained. If we are trained, we speak to them with trained words and we grab their attention. If we're untrained, gibberish comes out of our mouth and we end up with hoof and mouth disease where our foot gets caught in our mouth. And the other part of our brain is the subconscious mind. Now, it is the size of the building and it is the place where all decisions are actually made. But here's the thing about the subconscious mind. It is dumb as a rock. The subconscious mind makes error in judgment. It can't tell the real from the unreal, and it falters every single step along the way. And whenever the conscious mind makes a rational decision for yes, the subconscious mind is programmed to doubt it, no matter how reasonably sound it might be, and ter will turn that yes into a no. So which controls how a res uh, prospect responds to us? The conscious or subconscious mind? Is it that part which is the size of the P or that part which is the size of a building? Well, I'll give you a hint. P, building. P, building. Of course it's the building. And if you don't believe me, think about this. You talk to a prospect and show him rationally with example after example of your products being less expensive and better for them with improving their health than what they can buy at the store and what happens. The prospect says no. You show them that your weight loss products will help them to lose 30 pounds in 20 days while sitting and watching TV and drinking beer, and they will turn you down. You have the rational argument on your side, but the prospect will still say no. Why? Because the prospect is not thinking with their conscious and rational mind, but with their subconscious mind. And the big computer in their brain is making all their decisions for them by telling their conscious mind that their decision for yes is all wrong. So what's the solution? 
It's simple. Instead of speaking to the conscious mind, let's speak to the subconscious mind of our prospects and get more yeses from them than no's. Let's do some conversion strategy marketing and learn about how to manipulate the mind of our prospects. Now, the basically, the subconscious mind is wired all wrong. So what can we do for wiring it to respond correctly to the conscious mind where the rational decision for yes is made? Well, the subconscious mind responds to emotional triggers. And those emotional triggers come from our five senses, touch, smell, taste, hearing, and vision. And examples of emotional triggers are these. Which of these two statements would get a woman to respond to you in a positive way. When I look into your eyes, time stands still. Well, what do you think a woman's going to do? She's going to ooh and ah and think you're great. Or you could say this, your face can stop a clock. Now they both say the same thing, at least almost, but one will get you a positive emotional response toward you while the other will get you a slap in the face. Now, how about this one for how to manipulate the mind? There are two types of people in the world, those that take antioxidants now and those that take chemotherapy later. Which do you think will freeze the brain and get them to respond? Well, what we have to do is learn these emotional triggers, but we're going to learn them through words which we speak to get the prospect from saying no to saying yes without them realizing that we know how to manipulate their mind. Now, what words can we say which will freeze the subconscious mind and manipulate our prospects' no decisions about our products and opportunity into yes? Well, what happens when you use this phrase? Would you be interested? Would you be interested in looking at my opportunity? Would you be interested in trying my face cream to make you look younger? Well, when you say that, you actually don't freeze the mind. You cause the, uh, the subconscious mind to kick into high gear and find every excuse in the world for not buying or joining. They will come up with excuses as, this is a pyramid scheme. This is too expensive. I can't do this. This is too hard. I don't want to sell. I don't want to talk to my friends and neighbors about network marketing. Well, what are the words which will manipulate the brain? I just found out. Now, let me show you how this works. I just found out how you can earn an extra check every month. I just found out how you can go on vacation six months out of the year and get paid. I just found out how you can stay at home with taking care of your children without losing a paycheck. I just found out how you can stop the aging process and rejuvenate your skin. I just found out how you could drop 43 pounds by Memorial Day. I just found out how you can supercharge your immune system and cure spring allergies. Four simple words I just found out at the beginning of a sentence followed by a benefit will convert a no into a yes. It will cause the person to take pause, that is their subconscious mind, to take pause and lean forward with wanting to know more about what you are telling them. So whenever somebody tells you that I just found out Following by a, a interesting fact, the subconscious mind stops what it's doing and says to itself, I better listen and pay attention because this is about to get deep. You will turn a non-responsive prospect into a responsive one, wanting your presentation about your products and opportunity. Now, there's another phrase that we can use to manipulate the mind. There are two kinds of people in the world. And what you do is you say there's two kinds of people in the world, followed by the two kinds of people. Those who take antioxidants now and those who take chemotherapy later. There are two types of people in the world. Those who earn four times money working at home and those who do not, 
by working 45 years at their job making minimum wage. And there are two types of people in the world, those who stay at home and make all the money they want, and those who must commute every day to a job they hate and must buy lip chat by the case because they have a full-time job kissing their boss's butt. And a third phrase, what is lead conversion? Well, lead conversion is the technique for how to manipulate the mind of prospects willingly into joining your business or buying your products. And here is the phrase that you can use. Would it be okay? It is a phrase which speaks to the subconscious mind and gets the prospect from not joining and buying to connecting with your opportunity and buying your products. So would it be okay if you didn't have to get up at 5 a.m. to go to work? Would it be okay if you got an extra paycheck every month? Would it be okay if you have all the energy in the world every day and you never will be run down again or tired again? Would it be okay if you end insomnia and anxiety from your life? So learn about how to manipulate the mind with these simple phrases followed by a benefit and you learn how to lead yourself from rags to riches. Now I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, leave a comment for me in the comment section at the bottom of the page of the article by clicking the link and be sure to leave a comment in Facebook. And most importantly, subscribe to the blog. There is a, a form that you can fill out by just putting your email address, no name, no phone number, and we will, re, we will get weekly updates every time a new post is made. And I hope to see you all on the better side of success.